Hello guys, Hypeun here back with another video. Today we're taking a look at item forging. This is a new mechanic which has just been introduced in the 2020 Christmas patch. So, what is the item forge? Simply put, it's a mechanic which lets you dismantle your unwanted items to exchange for specific ones you want. Pretty much, UT trading is back, but with extra steps. You can find the item forge in the top left of your vault. There's a lot of stuff you need to know, so I'll put up the timestamps here for you to look at. Now let's get to it. First up, why would you want to use the item forge? Well, if you've been farming a certain item for a very long time and just keep getting the other items from the boss's loot pool, you can exchange those excess items to get the desired item you want. Or maybe you have a bunch of excess items and want to craft a lot of your favorite items to mess around with more. So now we know the purpose of this mechanic. Let's see how we forge. When you enter the forge, you can see what you can craft on the left side of the screen. And as you can see here, not every item is there. That's because you need blueprints. Blueprints are uncommon drops from bosses all over the game, ranging from the Snake Queen to the Cube God to Oryx 3 himself. Each blueprint unlocks a number of items of the same tier for you to forge. These blueprints come in different tiers. There's a basic blueprint, giving common items such as the Snake Eye Ring. The greater blueprint gives basic rare items such as the Plane Walker or Ronin's Wakizashi. Heading onto the superior blueprint, you start getting more interesting items, giving items such as a Doku and the Scepter of Fulmination. After that, there's a Paramount Blueprint, giving access to powerful rare items such as the Fallen Wand or the Scepter of Devastation. And finally, the Exalted Blueprint. This blueprint offers the most powerful and rare items in the game, such as the Sword of the Colossus and even Event White such as the Helm of the Juggernaut. Whew, wow. That's right, you can start buying these items now. These items are categorized based on rarity and power. So we know blueprints drop from bosses, but there are other ways to get them, such as events like campaigns and quests. You can also buy them for fame in a nexus, which is really cool. I bought a whole bunch of these, but not all blueprints are acquirable this way, and the only ones you can buy are superior and paramount blueprints. You can also buy blueprints with premium gold from the mystery shop, which is kind of like buying UT items, which is a little yikes, but oh well. Now you know how to get the items to appear in the forge to craft. But there is one more thing you need to start the process, and that's forge fire. You need a certain amount of forge fire depending on the rarity and power of the item you want to forge. The strongest of items require 1560 forge fire, and the most basic items require only 60 forge fire. You can only have 1600 total forge fire at once. How do you acquire this element? You get 400 forge fire every single day. And I think that's a nice amount. It's not like you'll be crafting a legendary item of your choice more than once every 4 days. It's a fair balance. The only other way to get this currently is through Sulphur. Sulphur is uh, another bit of monetization. You're gonna have to buy it. But you can also get it from free packs too, and events. Maybe there'll be other ways to get it in the future. Once you have enough Forge Fire and the item blueprint of choice, you can now exchange. So obviously there's a currency for forging. Legendary items being the most expensive and common items being very cheap. Relatively speaking. Common items require common materials for exchange. Rare items require common and rare materials for exchange. And finally, to craft legendary items, you need common, rare, and legendary materials. How do you get these materials? The items themselves, giving more materials if the item is stronger and rarer. Remember, this is not as simple as exchanging 50 basic items to get a legendary item just like that. Common items only give common minerals. Ah, calling these common, rare, and legendary materials just gets annoying. I'm calling this silver, this gold, and uh, this... Uh, exalted ore. Anyways, common items only break down into silver, but legendary items require silver, gold, and exalted ore. This basically means to exchange for a legendary tiered item, you'll need to sacrifice legendary tiered items too, as they're the only items that break down into exalted ore. As far as direct pricing goes to forge a legendary item, you'll need to break down three of your own legendary items. For example, I want to get the legendary Tome of Mushroom Tribes. To get it, I can exchange a lodestone, a marble seal, and a gemstone combined. Oh, and there's one last payment. You may need a mark from the respective dungeon, so in this case, I need a crystal cavern mark, as this tome comes from that dungeon. Not all items require marks or forging though. And there you go. That's how you exchange items in the item forge. Let's go through the steps again real quick. One item, get its blueprint. Have the required forge fire to craft the item. Select a bunch of items. And if it's required, have the item's respective dungeon mark ready. Then you forge. The first item I forged is a Necronomicon. For those of you who haven't watched my Twitch streams, I have farmed over 1,200 cursed libraries to get this damn item. And I didn't even get it as a drop. I just bought it from the forge. Ha! Huh. See, see, this is, this is a prime example. I've been farming for an item for a really long time, and now I can just get it. I can sacrifice some items and get it straight up. So yeah, time for some bonus facts. 
Say you have this blueprint, then you get another one as a drop. Don't discard it. Blueprints serve another purpose which is reducing the forge fire cost to craft an item. Pretty nifty. Items aren't the only things that give minerals. You can get minerals from ores. Ah oh, damn it. I just called that freaking item the exalted ore. Well, I guess its name is now exalted pebble. Ores as of now can only be bought with premium money or acquired from free packs. Currently blueprint locations are set, so it's not fully random where you get them from. An example is a Marble Colossus. He drops two different blueprints. One contains Enforcer, Chancellor's Cranium and Diplomatic Robe. And the other one contains Superior, Genesis Spell and Divine Coronation. This is quite weird for two reasons. Why does this guy drop blueprints for this guy's items? And why isn't it random? Who knows? Also there are exceptions. Oryx 3 drops Oryx 3 item blueprints and Event Gods drop their respective item blueprints. And there may be more, but we haven't found out every single blueprint at the moment, so yeah. Well, that's about all there is to know for this new item forge mechanic. It's really cool that the grind to get your desired white has gotten easier, and it isn't so dependent on RNG, which can be really mean sometimes.